This game's Chuck Charlton, you're watching Milton Bay Homes. This game's Chuck Charlton, you're watching Milton Bay Homes. This game's Chuck Charlton, you're watching Milton Bay Homes. This game's Chuck Charlton, you're watching Milton Bay Homes. All right, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. Chuck here. Uh, I hope you like our theme music. I was playing around with an app, and maybe I got a little carried away. <clears throat> anyway, we have a couple of properties. This is called the Not Two episode. So, uh, a couple properties here. This is a one bedroom in Maple Crossing, and for some reason, it drives me crazy in this building. Everybody decides to put something up on top of their cabinets. It never looks good for a listing. Now this one and the one after it, completely different sizes, but they both have the nine foot ceiling here too. So, so you've got, pardon me, a 12 foot ceiling because it actually slopes up even higher on this side. 270 is not a bad price. Typically we see the, the ceiling height. I think people paid like five to $10,000 uh, premium for it. It's probably what it's worth on the resale market. Next one is a Windsor model, about 350 square feet bigger than that one. And uh, same thing, you get this nice sloped ceiling here. Uh, it has a good feeling when you're inside of this place. Like you get, yeah, but I mean, ugh, this stuff here. The other thing that I, I never understood, and I think it was on purpose, but they took the door off of this cabinet. I would put that door back on. And uh, there's just a lot of stuff going on. We, we talk about the rule of three, how you don't want more than three things really in any picture uh, d decor wise, you know, like you've got all of this stuff here. There's five on top of here. Uh, there's three right there. You know, you've got a TV, all this stuff could be simplified and I believe it would create a better impression. But it's not a bad layout and uh, I think the price is pretty good too. We've seen uh, that floor plan go as high as, you know, even 350, 360 in the past too. So 339, not a bad price. Okay, so Chalner is taking offers on Monday. 4099 is the price. It's a current model, C-U-R-R-A-N-T. 1195 square feet, um, hardwood stairs. There's a little nook upstairs and there's also two full bathrooms, which is an upgrade in uh, in this model pot drawers you've got a, an upgraded uh countertop you've got the backsplash the under cabinet lighting i'd be surprised if this one sold for any less than 425 um they've even done like a uh a wainscoting on the wall here um well finished you got to be careful with scale of furniture in here because it looks bigger than it is uh, you can't have huge couches or dining tables here. It just starts to clutter the space up too much. Iron pickets on the stairs, gardening. Like, it looks good. The pictures aren't great, but it's there's enough there to know that this one really hopefully shows well in person, but it's got the upgrades. 331 Bustle is 529.9. Now, it says it's 1950 square feet end unit. I don't know because it's this partly finished basement. I don't know if that includes the basement or not. If it doesn't, it's actually not a bad size for this price. The presentation is a little bit bizarre. We are, I, what is that? Like I, two wall sconces, which I don't even know if they're included or not. It's not in the description. Uh, usually with inclusions and exclusions, the rule is if you turn the house over and shook it, Whatever would fall out is going with the sellers and whatever is fixed to the wall would stay with the home. So technically these are fixed on the wall, uh, but you wanna be clear about that. I've seen battles at the end over anything from kitchen islands to garage door openers. Be really careful, be specific. And I've even seen appliance swaps where, cause in an offer a lot of times it says uh, fridge, stove, dishwasher, and you know it's good to write down serial numbers because it should be the appliances that were in the home at the time of the listing and we had a situation one time where a guy tried to swap them out but we had serial numbers we had pictures and uh washer dryer basically came back the original ones he bought another pair because he liked the warranty on the first pair but they were a different color and our guy said look that's not the the appliances that we purchased so it does happen. Weird stuff like that happens all the time. Uh, digressing. I digress yesterday. I digress today. Uh, pot lights. Just in case it wasn't obvious in previous pictures that there's pot lights. 
Uh, there is a wall mural. I don't know if that's a big booster on this home. And they're homemade pictures, they're dark. That is the shoelace angle, although I don't think I've worn shoes with shoelaces in years. We'll call it the tongue of the shoe. Uh, we have Super Mario, who is, it looks like he's he's kind of hanging like a wedgie or something like that. This is the berm. And so behind here is the train tracks. And so you've got a sloping berm that goes up. Uh, it's designed for a little bit of, of noise buffering, sound reduction. It also doubles as a pretty cool, uh, I guess, you know, toboggan hill when uh, when there's snow out. Uh, I I don't know what this is. I know what it is, but I don't know why it's here. Uh, I don't know what it's doing to add anything to the rest of the listing gallery. It's a mystery to me. 311 Bell, 530 is the price. And remember, it backs onto not just a park, peaceful park. And so we have a nice big driveway here, garage. You've got some interesting ceiling angles. It's a back split. So you've got one level up, one level down from your main floor. Uh, it's not in bad shape at all. Uh, what else? Yeah, you see, so the, the ceilings here are higher on the main floor. And then uh, upstairs, you get the ceilings actually come down a little bit. They're a little bit low upstairs. Uh, things like this cord clutter, Things on the ground, you got to get rid of that uh, for, you know, when you're selling a house, right? Even a room like this, simplifying does help. It's not always make or break, uh, life or death, but it always matters. The details matter in any home. I still like this one. I think it compares very well to what's been selling, even in places like Kingsley Court. And I think Bell Street gets a little bit more of a premium than uh, than even a place like Kingsley. So it uh, compares to even bungalows. There are some stairs here, but not as many as a traditional two-story. So Dow Landing is a semi-detached, about 2,000 square feet. I'll give you a better view of the front there. Uh, plus a finished basement, 629.5. We've seen homes in this area that have sold with green space around this size, and they haven't been up in the 630 range. Uh, I, I, if memory serves correct, they may have listed this one even higher. Um, anyway, here's another not to do. If you have a kitchen like this and you put a cabinet here, what it really sends, the message that it sends to a buyer, I believe anyway, is you don't have enough storage space, right? So you've got to add storage space here. If you can live without something like this, extra storage and cabinetry, I would suggest getting rid of it. It's also a good idea to put a table here in the kitchen to show people that you could actually have an eat-in area. Uh, what else? It'd be nice to have a picture right here to bring the eyes up. Getting rid of some of this stuff here on the counters is always helpful. And, you know, the rest of it's not too bad. Uh, it doesn't have... There's a big difference between being functional and being impressive right and what i mean by that is if you're playing i was just talking about this last night if you're playing in about if you were to rate a home from about even like one up to maybe eight out of ten then you're appealing to people's logic they start looking at things like square footage and uh you know the functional parts the neighborhood how close it is to things but if you can get up to that nine or ten range where people start to you know, lose their, like they start to, to eyes go wide open, which you're going to see in just a second. At that point, they play a different game because now it's not so much about here, it's about the heart. So let me show you what I mean. The Logger and Crescent is 659.4. They're holding back on offers on this one here too. Uh, not a bad idea to check out Leech Landing, which is right before this one in the list. Uh, it's a few hundred square feet smaller, but it has a double car garage for almost the same price. So it's a bit of a trade off there. But uh, this one is like designer nice, right? It's everything about this home is uh, is beautiful. Now, when you take out all of their stuff, you have you still have some upgrades like they've they've um, back banded the uh, the windows here. So you get a thicker case. Uh, the color in the kitchen is still going to be nice. The granite counters, the pot lights, 
Uh, you've got a bit of molding on the front here, the built-ins, they're probably all going to stay. Uh, so things like that, the light fixtures are going to stay, the wallpaper, but the, the, the impression of this home, California shutters too, the impression of this home is enhanced by the, the taste that they have. Even this bathroom, if you looked at it without all the nice stuff, you'd say, well, you know, it's a little brown, but they've, they've got, you know, a nice little mat there. It's a, it's a really well done home. That room has a walk-in closet. It's about 22, around 22, 30 square feet is this home, plus a finished basement, done well. Uh, bathroom looks nice, and you've got a backyard that's landscaped. If there's any holes I can punch in this one, dairy roads right there and you've got the 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 plaza the dairy i don't remember the name of this one but it's it's the pizza hut and you've got the the holly medical i think it's holly plaza or something like that right at dairy and holly that's this is the the uh the plaza that's that's right there so no homes behind but you have commercial it's pretty quiet there's not a lot going on there but dairy road is the one that uh if you sit in the backyard it's going to be a bit noisy it's a beautiful house though, really nice. And these models tend to do really well. Uh, do you pay for a, a double garage for the same price though? That's the only thing. I think they'll do well. So my name is Chuck. That is our episode of Milton Daily Homes. And I think we need a little more theme music. This is Chuck Charlton. You're watching Milton Daily Homes. This is Chuck Charlton. You're watching Milton Daily Homes.